Hello guys, this is Hassan Miyagam from Miyagam. In this very video, I will show you I will show you the graphical method to solve the dress analysis of simple dresses. So let's get started with a bang. So now this is the dress actually it is a simple dress to solve first for the amateur levels. Now first of all draw a given dress with a suitable scale with a suit scale of 1 cm is equal to 0.5 meter, 1 cm is equal to 1 meter. Show the reaction RB and RC. Uh, we have to find the reaction actually. I have already found the reaction between uh, RB and RC that is 30 kN and 10 kN respectively. So, Bose notation. Bose notation PQRS in the clockwise direction in the truss. As you can see, I have given the Bose notation P Q R S in the clockwise direction. That's important. This is the space diagram of the truss. To draw the vector diagram, take suitable scale. Uh, I think we should take uh, 1 cm is equal to 5 kN. You can take any any of the scale, but it is a appropriate scale for 1 cm is equal to 5 kN. Uh, careful reminder that it is is the space diagram which we pointed that the bow notation P Q R S, which are actually in respect to space not to any joints or any line of the stresses we have to completely take it from the species species are given here 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 and in the clockwise direction so p q r and s should be given properly and to the spaces only now take suitable point p near the space diagram from p to q PQ is equal to 40 kN which is downward force 40 kN when we have taken the scale 1 cm is equal to 5 kN so 40 divided by 5 is equal to 8 so 8 cm we have to draw downwards as shown as the forces so from P we will go from Q and Q from in the clockwise direction so P to Q is equal to downward direction force is equal to 40 kN 40 divided by 5 kN we got 8 so draw 8 cm diagram from P to Q into downward direction so we'll draw P to Q 8 cm properly and mark it as P and Q in small case letter now draw Q to QR 10 kN upward force so 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2 km 2 kN so we have to draw Q to R is equal to 2 kN upwards so 2 cm we take upwards that's the point R and now from Q to R it's it's 2 cm okay from R to P it's 30 kN 30 kN divided by 5 is equal to 6 cm 6 cm is equal to this RP Thus, P, Q, and R, and R to P is drawn. Now consider B in the space diagram. Move clockwise to around the joint and show forces of members P, S, and P, S, R in the vector diagram. From P, draw line parallel to P, S. Now P, S drawing is this one. This one is line parallel to P. Draw this distance approximately in the light form. Now from S to Q, this draw parallelly. We have to consider it parallelly this time. So from Q to R is parallelly. Okay, and R to S is parallel. Approximate distances. <laughs> Now we got something like this. Properly take properly this line. I will take it approximately this distance. So now this point is called S. Now we are drawn the vector diagram and darken the lines of all the stations. So 
now the vector diagram is completed and now we have to show the forces of compressive and tensile remember if arrow push the joint member force is compressive if arrow pull the joint member force is tensile a simplest method to apply this we have to just kick on this hinge joint we have to just consider a hinge joint the three hinge joints and we have to push arrow against them like this simply into the arrows to this is the simplest method to do i have considered myself that this is the simple method i uh, actually I told from my friend okay so this is the perfect method and this is this is considerable to the equation so now your vector diagram has been drawn and your space diagram has been drawn so now the force table has to be calculated as you can see i have drawn the force table as follows ps sr and sq uh, we have to just calculate the calculate the distance between p and s and p and r and s and r and q and s so calculate this distance by just approximate distance this is 7 this is 3.5 something so multiply into the scale given 5 kilonewton so multiply it 7 into 5 is equal to 35 kilonewton 3.5 into 5 4 into 5 and you will get the same now how to describe the nature is this you have to just see the s and r s and r is in tensile forces which is pull the forces so this is tensile forces other forces are just compressible so it's compressible forces look at this hope you like the video of analysis of graphical methods so please subscribe like and share and we will put more and more videos like this if you want any suggestion please comment down and want any suggestion or something question about graphical method or something else of finding forces please write on the comment box i will surely reply so have a nice day